welcome. Did you know that for a hundred years, the American Heart Association has been fighting heart disease and stroke, striving to save and improve lives? Back in the 1920s, when heart disease became the leading cause of death in the United States for the first time in history, a group of six visionary doctors refused to accept this development. And on March 14, 1924, the Certificate of Incorporation of the American Heart Association was drawn up in New York State. June 10th marks the official founding of the AHA, when, at a meeting in Chicago, the association elected its board of directors and officers. The year is 1935. The first scientific council, a council on circulation, is formed as the section for the study of the peripheral circulation. Today, the AHA has 16 scientific councils that support and foster health science through the lens of professionals from an array of specialties and classifications. The year is 1948. The American Heart Association reorganizes, becoming a national voluntary health agency. Support for the mission becomes more visible with fundraising activities taking hold in communities and businesses. A windfall of more than $1.5 million from a nationwide radio contest called Walking Man stimulates program and organizational expansion. I want to take you back to 1956. And if you ever watched a movie or even a TV show back then, it was pretty cool for everyone to be smoking. Over half of American men, a third of American women were smoking. Back then, the American Heart Association felt that smoking probably wasn't good for your heart. Not until the mid 60s, when the Surgeon General said more information is necessary, that it looks like smoking isn't good for you, the American Heart Association was pushing against it. The year is 1961. Dr. William Cowenhoven, Dr. Guy Knickerbocker, and Dr. James Jude show how combining mouth to mouth breathing with chest compressions breathes cardiopulmonary resuscitation, the life saving actions of CPR. The year was 1978. The American Heart Association begins its first in-school education and fundraising program in Milwaukee. The jump rope for heart programs spread nationwide and eventually led to the formation of Kids Heart Challenge, in which some 21,000 schools across America participate. The year is 1998. The American Heart Association Stroke Division is formed. The next year it's renamed the American Stroke Association, a division of the American Heart Association. The new name demonstrates that the AHA's passion in the fight against death and disability from stroke is as strong as its fight against death and disability from heart disease. The year is 2000. The American Heart Association launched Get With The Guidelines, which offers data collection tools real-time feedback and benchmarking information to help ensure the best possible care for heart and stroke patients. The year is 2004. The Go Red for Women campaign launches, raising awareness that heart disease is women's number one killer and urging action to prevent it. The year is 2010 and the American Heart Association announces a major goal to improve the cardiovascular health of all Americans by 20%, while reducing the death from cardiovascular disease and stroke also by 20% by 2020. The outcomes reveal widening health disparity within the US population, which are now a significant focus of the association. The year is 2020, and while all semblance of normal daily life stopped as the COVID-19 pandemic spread across the globe, the American Heart Association took swift, comprehensive measures to respond quickly, empowering scientists, healthcare professionals, and people in lockdown around the world to persevere. And today in 2024, we know the discoveries ahead will come from an intentional, sustained commitment to evidence-based, proactive study and solutions. Join us for another century of progress in your American Heart Association in New York City, because our future is about improving yours.